I got cracked yesterday. I swear there is no better feeling than this. It's basically like free at this point. My popcorn and my anthro cup. Oh, about me, I'm gonna lose my tripod. Or not even lose it, just misplace it. Over and over and over again. Do you want me to do something different than the chipotle chicken? Uh, like a chicken cutlet or something? Welcome back to another vlog. Oh my god, what is happening here? There we go. Um, what's today? Today is Wednesday. And I'm not gonna lie, I kinda have a busy day today. Um, I have to, this physical therapy that I've been doing, I have to like schedule my days and like what I do around the times that they give me for physical therapy. Um, and usually I do them at, well, the last couple I've been doing at 10 a.m. But I noticed that once I'm done with the ones at 10 a.m., it's almost like I didn't get to get anything done, like, for work, for filming, and it's like, ugh. So I asked them if I could do, um, 2 p.m. So today my physical therapy is at 2 so I figured I could do what I need to get done. I have a lot that I need to do today. Um, I am breaking out. I have, a scratch, I have a scratch on my face. I'm all a mess. I think it might be this. This might be expired, so I need to toss this today. Um, but yeah, so my physical therapy is at 2. I need to leave my house around 1.45 because the therapist is very, very close to me. Before I go, I need to call our attorney. After there, I need to stop at USPS to drop off some orders from Brendan and Cora, which by the way, if you guys are new, if you're old, me and my business partner are closing down our retail portion of our business meaning like our website we're not selling any more clothes um none of that so our entire site right now it was 60 percent off now it's 70 percent off so i'll leave a link down below things are literally like 14 dollars like it's basically like free at this point so yeah i we had a whole bunch of orders come in so i finished those orders and i just want to drop them off so that people can start getting their stuff before I go to my appointment, um, I want to film a 333 video. I need to look and see what 333 video I want to do because I had asked on Instagram and a lot of people gave really good recommendations. I also need to do my nails. I took off all of the hard gel because I don't know, I think I was just like really anxious and I just, I needed something to pick at so I just started picking up my nails. Um, and I think I don't have, I need to replace my hard gel which i love hard gel highly recommend i have a video of how i do my nails um a few videos back and i love it i wouldn't go back to like any other version because i like just using my natural nails i don't like tips i don't like acrylic or anything like that but um i'm about to be out like i don't really have any of my hard gel left so I think I'm just gonna do just like gel polish in the meantime. And then once I'm done with that, um, I also filmed a um, 
favorites video, like a current wardrobe favorites. Um, so I would like to edit that. I need to look at the footage. I have a feeling it was a little bit out of focus and that's going to irritate me. And then I also want to meal prep or like ingredient prep. I bought so many veggies yesterday. We went to um, Aldi and I have just been craving fresh produce. So we bought cucumbers, tomatoes, onions, bell peppers. Um... What else did we buy? More mandarins. I just bought a whole bunch of vegetables. Lettuce. And I'm really craving like a taco, like ground turkey with beans in it, bell peppers, onions, topping with like tomato, cilantro, onion, some Greek yogurt, hot sauce. Like I'm craving that. So I figured I could batch cook it, like cook all the ground turkey and then prep all of the ingredients and just make like bowls for lunch. And I've decided, decided to start um, attempting to make sourdough, which sourdough, if you've never made bread or looked into making bread, sourdough, sourdough is the like most or more difficult bread because you have to put, like sourdough has active bacteria in it that's like really good for your gut and um, you have to make it if you're gonna make homemade bread. So I started it last night. I want you to pluck my eyebrows. I started it last night. I'll show it to you guys in a second. But I started it last night making my active yeast. It's called Starter. Not sure how it's gonna go. I've never done this before. I'm literally just watching TikToks and seeing what other people do. TikTok University. So here's my starter that I was talking about. It's literally just half a cup of flour and half a cup of room temp water and it has to sit for like days like I think it said like 10 to 12 days and you have to do it like when you top it you're not supposed to put it like airtight so that air can get in there and this is gonna let this ferment and start like I guess creating like the bacteria and every single day I think you're supposed to like feed it add water add more flour and it just like grows and grows and it turns into like this bubbly yeast and that's what you put into sourdough so today's only day two so really nothing has happened i've already um mixed it which that's all i'm supposed to do for today and then in 24 hours i have to do something else so that's what it looks like for now i'm gonna do my nails i'm just gonna literally paint them i'm using the color be there in a prosecco it's like a creamy beigey white easy i just want my nails to be polished I'm good. Um, I just wanted to give you a call in the morning first. My last treatment was Monday. I don't know if it's my x-rays from when I went to the ER. For sure, thanks so much for your help. Okay, I just finished my nails. My, you guys, my lower back is shot from this car accident. Like my tailbone, whenever I sit or stand, the sh shooting pain that I get is awful, 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 awful. And if I'm sitting like in a car for a long time or just anywhere, like just me sitting right now doing my nails, my tailbone is killing me. Um, But yeah, I finished my nails. I haven't done like nail polish on my nails in such a long time that i forgot the torture of letting it dry <clears throat> because i am stupid and i didn't realize well it didn't process that i can't do anything until my nails dry i'm actually doing pretty good with time right now it's 11:56, and i don't have to leave my house until 145 so everything that I want to prep I have three bell peppers here um, I think I want to chop some like small and then slice some I have cilantro I have mini cucumbers I have tomatoes so I want to chop both of these with where's my onion I have onion over here too I want to chop red onion 
I also have sweet potato that I want to do like a massive batch of because I just don't want to have to keep thinking about every single day chopping something new. So, here have the chopper. If you don't have one of these, you need one of these very badly. One of the best things I have ever purchased. And I have like the tiny one out, but I think I want the next size up. So I'm doing this size. So I think I'm gonna do one full bell pepper, like finely chopped. Sorry guys, I don't know where my freaking tripod is as usual, so here I am. So yeah, I'm gonna do one bell pepper, finely chopped, like small. I'm going to dice up all of these cucumbers. I'm going to chop the cilantro and then I'm going to do like fajita style for one bell pepper. And then chop all of these small as well. Um, with the onions, I'm going to do like one full onion diced and the other one just in chunks. And then the sweet potato, I'm going to just do in chunks because it cooks way faster that way. So yeah, and I'm just going to have all of these in like Tupperware containers because I can just scoop as I want and I don't have to sit there and like every single day chop and dice and prep vegetables. I just feel like this is like so much easier when you want to get something to eat. It's already just like chopped and prepped in your fridge. I don't necessarily care to like cook all of it at the same time because sometimes it'll just like, I don't know. I don't like the way things taste when they've been sitting in the fridge cooked for too long. I can literally eat like one cucumber in one sitting. Well, more than that, because these are small. Let's get to, I guess, chopping and prepping. Okay, I swear there is no better feeling than this. There is no better feeling. So here I have my cucumbers. This is a bell pepper and onion combo. I'm gonna use this for like cooking. Pico, sweet potatoes, and this is like fajita style. Um, I also chopped up a whole bunch of cilantro that I need to wrap into a paper towel. And this little combo just made me want Greek food really bad. So that I will probably end up stopping at the grocery store after my appointment because I need to get bread flour anyway um, for my bread. Now I want to make something. Like I want to make like a turkey, ground turkey, sweet potato, little bowl thing before my appointment. So I'm going to do that. Um, I'll show you what it looks like at the end because I'm just going to be cooking. Guys, I'm ex so excited for this lunch. I haven't been this excited. Well, I haven't really been prepping lunch like that because everything has just been all over the place. But my sister left. My sister left this morning back to Atlanta. She's coming back in a couple of days though because she has to do her physical therapy here. My sister left me some leftover rotisserie chicken that she got the other day. So she was like, just eat it because it's going to go bad if you don't. 
So I'm sauteing that in a pan. I have all of these veggies here. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So excited. So I'm gonna use one of my new bowls because it's so damn cute. And she also left a little bit of a Caesar salad pack, but I'm going to take this stuff out and just use the lettuce before that goes bad. And then I'm gonna do, let me put you like here. Sorry, I wish I had my freaking tripod, but I don't know where it is. I'm gonna do a little bit of the sweet potato and veggie little combo that I made. We're gonna add the chicken. Oh my God, this is gonna be so good. Um, let me move this over here. I'm gonna add some of the pico because I want this to be like those flavors. I have some Greek yogurt, which I use in place of sour cream, um, just because Greek yogurt is so good for us as women and it's also way lower calories so you can put way more in your food. So I'm just gonna do like a glob, maybe a little more. And then top it off with a little bit of avocado. And I'm gonna pop pour in my anthro cup. First sip. Mm. Grape is gonna do it every time. And I have about 45 minutes till I have to leave. So I might have to do my video when I get back. All right. <clears throat> Set myself up. Okay, guys, how bomb does that look? So romaine on the bottom, rotisserie chicken. It was like pre-seasoned, I think with just like salt and pepper. So I didn't add any seasoning to it. Sweet potatoes, bell peppers, onions, pico, Greek yogurt, avocado, and a little bit of cheese on top with my Olipop. So I'm gonna enjoy this real quick and just like scroll on my phone before I need to change and head out of the door. So I'll see you guys after everything. Up, guys? Welcome back to the vlog. Good morning. Um, we've already had somewhat of a morning. I didn't keep vlogging yesterday because once I left the chiropractor appointment, I was so exhausted. I was just like, I just want to lay my body down. Um, I got cracked yesterday. I got cracked yesterday. She cracked the entire half of my body, like my lower half, and she cracked my neck. And she was like, you're going to be sore. And I definitely was sore. But I'm just happy that I got cracked. It gave me so much relief when it happened. I'm about to check on my sourdough starter, which is sitting right here. There we go. Um, I think I have to feed it today. So I need to do that. I'm just following TikTok videos. I think I mentioned that. Like I'm not doing anything specific. I'm just looking at what other people are doing. And I'm copying it. So here's my sourdough. This is two days old. Or my starter. It's looking funky. That's my starter. It's been sitting for two days and this is the first day that I'm gonna feed it. So. Starters progress differently and there's different variables that go into it, like it's Now we're gonna take a half a cup of our starter. Of yours looks different than mine. Mine does have a lot of liquid and it does have a salty sour smell. Either way, let's see our starters. Flour and half a cup of water and mixing it together really well in a separate bowl. You guys, I have no idea what I'm doing. Choose to use slightly less water than flour, and that is okay. And here is my starter. It does have a lot of liquid, but I'm going to mix it together before I take out what I need. And we're going to mix that together. Now, and put our lid on, or if you're using the coffee filter or cloth cover, that works too. Now we've officially done our first feed and discard for the sourdough starter. All right. So here's my starter now. After its first feed. So that's done for the day. You put the lid apparently back on, but you don't like 
press it sealed like i'm just like putting it on and then it sits for 24 hours but yeah i think i want to go to home goods i told tyler i think i'm going to try again and see if i can find anything for the backyard a mirror for the bathroom or a cool piece of art um so i think i'm going to do that and then come home shower and just like lay down a little bit because my back hurts i've already uploaded what two videos this week i never ended up doing my 333 i'll probably do it tomorrow morning i have physical therapy at 9 a.m so i can just do it after i think bendy let me grab this i was gonna like shower and put an outfit on and all that and i'm like no i don't today's like one of those days i don't feel like getting dressed i'm pmsing of course feel like does anybody else feel that way like those 28 days between your cycle i feel like they go way too fast but i checked my period tracker and it is on time like i'm feeling exactly how i should be feeling grab my airpods um, i'm hoping home goods is back is dead but i feel like it never is so goals for this trip a cool mirror a cool art piece for the bathroom or outside stuff so i'll see you guys at home i saw these trays last time and i really like them like this is so pretty The shape of this is so damn cute. I love that. Yeah, they have really fun shapes. Okay, this is beautiful. Oh my god, I love that. These are $5.99 each. Love. Oh, love. It's kind of chaotic in here, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Lots of good pots. Like this is so good. They have more cool pots down here. I really like this box. I like to be able to put like your remote. I'm gonna grab this. I think it's cool. <laughs> my favorite section. It is like, I think they're bringing like inventory out, but these are really nice. I like these a lot for the backyard. $14.99. I really like these. And there's two of them. Oh, I think I'm gonna grab those.
bread pan. Just need one. This is a fun little section. These are cool, very modern, but they're cool. I'm gonna test my luck because there's one right next door. I don't think I'm gonna find shit, but we'll see. I just have to say, Home Goods during and TJ Maxx in the spring and summer do not hit the way that they do in fall and winter because nothing. I I mean I I got three things. I didn't want to spend more than fifty, so technically I I. Did good um, but there wasn't even stuff that was like tempting me like there was some pretty stuff but like because I'm looking for such specific things right now mirrors nothing <clears throat> um, art nothing like there's just nothing I don't understand but I got two of I got those two lanterns that I showed I'll show them to you guys when we get um, back to the house I had bought some a couple of years back like not the last house we lived in, the house before that. Um, and the cats knocked them over and they shattered. So I love, love lanterns outside. So um, I knew I wanted to get those. And they were 15 bucks each and huge. Usually big ones are like 50, 60, 70 dollars. So I got both of those and I got a bread pan. So like, all right, I guess. But yeah, I feel like the stores and like, I'm really picky with like spring and summer candles like I just there's not many that I like or that I want like everything to smell like went into Ross nothing I never go into Ross because it is such a hot mess I don't understand why my home goods was so packed I think it was an inventory day because you could probably hear in the video a lot of beeping they were like scanning stuff but I just have not been hitting at home goods TJ Maxx I haven't gone to Marshalls in a while, um, but yeah, just not doing what it's what I needed to do. But I think I'm just gonna make myself a bowl, like I did yesterday. I'm probably gonna repeat the exact same bowl because that was so filling and so freaking good. And then I'm gonna start editing this video. I'm gonna jump in the shower, get into some comfy clothes because my back. I'm definitely very sore from getting cracked yesterday. Which she told me I would be, but I was like, oh, I'll probably be fine now. And it's like, if my, if it didn't already hurt enough, like my back hurts so badly. Let's just make it hurt some more. Let's just crack you up. So now I'm just like very tender in lots of places. So I want to get into like comfy, comfy clothes. I just washed my comforter, so I need to hang that outside um, to dry. I'm going to make myself some lunch. I'm going to get comfy on the couch edit and probably finally start love is blind i haven't watched it i've heard it's like the craziest season so far but i watch it with one of my friends and i refuse to watch it without her and she won't watch it without me and our schedules just have not been lining up so i will uh oh, spice my favorite thai food thai spot is right here so good um but yeah i'll see you guys at home let's give you guys a quick call let me take all my stuff off I want to take this tight ass activewear off. So for the not exciting thing, 
I just got a bread tin because I am literally gonna make sourdough soon. So I don't have anything that's shaped like this. I do have a Christmas themed one, but I don't just have like a universal all around one. So I just got that. This was five bucks, so cool. And then this was like the main thing that was exciting to get. These are flameless LED lanterns and it includes a battery and it includes a timer. And I love these for outdoors and they're very big for the price of these and the size it's actually shocking like i said this size is normally like 60 dollars a piece i've seen them as much as like 100 bucks for one lantern which is crazy so that's all i got um i spent 30 i think 37 and change um so yeah i guess not too bad didn't really find much, but whatever. Get myself relaxed. I need to let Lenny outside get to editing this vlog. So I hope you guys enjoyed the last two days with me um, and I'll see you guys in the next video.